Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today, I wanted to talk about one of my new favorite techniques that I just really started to dial in this year and that is flipping, specifically flipping submerged grass. Um, up in the Northeast, we have a ton of milfoil, hydrilla, and coontail and there's really not too many ways to fish it other than flipping. First thing I wanted to go over is the gear that I use for flipping. Um, this is a Dobbins 734 with a uh, Corrado K 7.4 gear ratio. I'm using a 3-0 VMC ringed wide gap hook and a one half ounce uh, tungsten flipping weight. Now that might seem like kind of an or unorthodox uh, flipping combo to many. I like to actually use lighter tackle. Medium heavy or heavy rod is plenty to get these fish out, I promise. When you're flipping this stuff, you really don't need to winch the fish out of the grass. I have not lost a fish yet due to them getting buried in the grass. This is a Dobbins 734, like I said. It's rated as heavy, but if you know anything about Dobbins, usually they run about half a power to a full power lighter. So this feels more like a light medium heavy or a heavy medium heavy, if that makes any sort of sense. So when you're using a softer rod like this, you don't want a crazy uh, thick flipping hook. So I really like this thinner wire. I don't have to set the hook as hard. It penetrates really well. And I honestly, my hookup ratio is excellent with this. I have not uh, lost any fish due to it coming out or uh, anything like that. Um, another benefit is that it's way lighter. When you're flipping for six hours a day, you know, a thousand flips, having something that's super balanced, super lightweight, you know, you're not gonna be as fatigued. This is my main flipping combo right now. I do have another combo that is more stout. So I was kind of messing around with it today and throwing a swim bait. Um, but this is a new combo to me. I actually bought it from American Legacy. Hey guys, really quick, just want to let you know, for the month of August, I'm running a promotion on American Legacy, 10% off your entire order with code 10MITCH. That's 10MITCH. If you're looking to stock up on some rods, reels, gear, other tackle, now's the time to do it. Some exclusions will apply, I'll let you know down in the description. Other than that, back to the video. Um, so this is a Dobbins 765 flip. Again, Dobbins tends to be a little lighter, so this is a 765, but it's actually rated as a medium heavy. So it has, again, more of a softer tip, which I prefer, especially when you're running a leader. If you're running too stiff of a rod and you're running like a monofilament or fluorocarbon leader, on the hook set, you can um, snap your leader, and I have done that, and it's not fun. On this, I have 50 pound braid to 20 pound mono. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this combo here is 30 pound braid to 15, 20 pound mono. They're kind of interchangeable on this combo. On this combo, specifically 50 pound braid, 20 pound mono. So like I said, I use the straight shank 3-aught VMC flipping hook uh, when I flip with this. It has the backbone to set the hook, but a soft enough tip to where you're not tearing up the fish's mouth and you're not snapping leaders or anything like that. So really enjoyed this combo. I've landed a couple fish on it so far and it loads up super well. It's heavy enough, has enough backbone. If you wanted to, you could do some light punching with it. Uh, I don't know if I said it already, but I use um, anywhere from 3 8 all the way to ounce and a half on this. So really enjoy this combo. Again, super lightweight, not as lightweight as this, as this 734, but definitely lightweight and balanced enough to um, certainly have a full day of flipping. So those are my flipping combos for now. Why don't I pick up uh, my flipping stick and I will show you how I flip, the areas I flip, um, what to look for, and uh, some tips I got for you. So let's do that. All right, guys, so if you can see this, this is the stuff that you want to look for when you're flipping. So this is my milfoil and hydrilla topped out almost to the surface and about eight feet of water. It's so thick that my fish finder has a hard time reading the bottom sometimes, but this Really, if you could find an area like this, this is perfect for this type of flipping. Okay guys, so let me show you how I do this. So, um, I found the best way for me to do this is quick and easy. So what I do, I'll literally just flip out. I'll keep my rod tip up and thumb the spool and watch my line go down. I'll feel for, 
Wow, that's perfect. How do you beat that? How do you beat that? <laughs> Come on, how do you beat that? Get up here. Well, this guy rudely interrupted me. Look at, look at how beautiful that hook penetration is there. Right through the top of the mouth. Excellent. So, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, um, this is a very fast method of fishing, but it's also um, slow in a way because you're not covering very much water with, with a single cast. Um, you're really only hitting a one to three square foot area um, when you present the bait. So in order to cover a lot of water, it's gotta be really fast. So what I like to do, I'll flip out. That was not a great flip, by the way. Um, I'll flip out. I'll keep my rod tip up and I'll thumb the spool as it's going down and I'll feel my bait going down. And you could really feel when it hits bottom. You know, it's going, it's going, it's going. Right, it's going, it's going, it's going. And there's bottom, right? So you could feel all the way down if something grabs it, you'll feel a thud or it'll stop early. Um, if you get used to what depth you're fishing at, it'll stop early and you know something's not right. It either got hung up on a weed or something picked it up, right? So I like to drop it down, a couple shakes, you know, lift it up, drop it, and I'm out, right? So I'll flip out, rod tip up, I'll feel everything, hit bottom, shake it a few times, nothing's there, I'm out. Yes, sir. All right. So the, the reason you're able to do this technique so fast is because when you drop down on these fish, they're either gonna eat it or they're not. You know, you drop down in front of them, you shake it a few times. If they don't eat it, pull it out and go to the next hole, you know, go to the next flip. There's another fish. Again, look at that top of the mouth. Hook penetration, perfect. Perfection, right there. I don't know guys, it works. These fish are buttoned up. I could flip them in the boat. I haven't had one come off since I've started doing this and it works. All right guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. It's starting to rain pretty good now. So uh, for whatever reason, rain seems to kill the flipping bite. So party's over. I hope I taught you some valuable information. If you have any questions, feel free, ask whatever you like. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Both the Dobbin 765 and 734 Champion are available on AmericanLegacyFishing.com. Um, those guys are awesome. Quick shipping, amazing customer service just an awesome company to deal with. So again, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you next time.